Hi and welcome back. Henry of HRU Bricks bringing you my LEGO Technic Crawler Crane Track Chassis, which is part four of the Builder Crane series. It has been built over the past three years with many improvements along the way. This is the third track chassis that I've developed over the past few years for my larger and larger crawler cranes and can be adapted for many other builds. It actually has 900 parts and is driven through a center axle and is designed to be modular so you can fit many different builds on this uh, one frame. The aim of the frame is to minimize the number of bricks through the whole build and to create a stable frame making for a more rigid frame. Now the key part is is when you when you put your crane or your build on here is it's this movement. When you are turning your crane around what happens is as the weight shifts around, your frame will actually roll. And this is quite a rigid frame through the front and back, not through the center. Now, if you look at a crawler track, much like the bucket wheel, the center is what actually holds all of the, the weight transfer through to the frame. You've got small axles on the side, but not in the center. With this build, it actually has two 5x7 beams right on the edge, which actually transfers the weight through the frame. As you can see, you've got 1x7s attached to your 5x7s, which link back into your 5x7s on the sides. That transfers the weight from the ring directly into the furthest points on the track base. That actually makes a very, very stable frame and a lot less rocking. Frame itself, one important thing. If you've got a large frame like this and you're storing it over a longer period of time, it's important to actually support the frame because what will happen is it will actually bow over time in this direction. And this could be this frame, it could be any Lego Tech frame. So I'd recommend putting something like this in to just hold the weight of your crane over a period of time. A short video today is there's much building to be done. I really wanted to introduce this frame. I've, I've completed the LLD and the studio file and I've actually uploaded that to Rebrickable. So you can actually build this frame yourself. The studio and LLD files are digital design files and you open them up with those specific programs and you can actually see this frame in there and I've actually put it into modular sections so you can pull those modular parts uh, apart in there and actually build the frame up from that. Specifically, the crane I've been talking about is this one. Now this one is also available on Rebrickable and in the YouTube channel. It's part of the series of build a crawler crane and I wanted to put it out there so um, the designs out there and many people can build their own it's either this particular one or one like this once you've got the files you can play with them you can create your own design and manipulate them and that's key to creating your own mocks is just getting onto it and building it um, it'll save you time on re-engineering for those who like to do that and watch the videos and then build off the videos so you can go on there download them and actually build it yourself if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below or over on the rebrickable page many people have the same sort of issues and I'll happily help you uh, also click that subscribe button hit the bell I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this type of build I've got a V uh, it'll be V4 I believe of, of an actual crane that I'm building designing and building and it's gonna have an extra jib and boom on it and I'll also be distributing those files. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell and you'll be able to get those ones in your inbox. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Henry of HRU Bricks. Time to get building.